Welcome to evening prayer for this Friday, June 26th. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide and lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good for our creation and for our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet Earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love, which is unbounded and eternal. O thou, most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being. All that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame burn into us, cleansing wind blow through us, fountain of water well up within us that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal spirit flow through our being and open our lips that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love, Alleluia. Hallelujah. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on that law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. It is the God who said, Let light shine out of darkness who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels to show that the transcendent power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. 1 Corinthians 13 says, If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, 
always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest, for it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. And the blessing of God, the eternal good will of God, the shalom of God, the wildness and the warmth of God be among us and between us now and always. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. <laughs>